Hi, Danielle. We're We've back. got dresses for you. Ooh. Are you excited about your wedding? It's bittersweet. I lost my father two months ago. Two months? We were on our family vacation in the Bahamas, and he had a heart attack. Me and my dad were very, very close. We had a very good relationship. He would be here today dress shopping with me if he were still here. But I feel like my dad will let me know that it's the dress that he would want to see me in. Oh, my god. I'm so sorry for you. We're going to make sure today is perfect for you. Failing her is not an option. So we didn't quite pull in a ball gown because we feel that a ball gown is just going to make you look like. too much. We like... don't want that. I think if show those curves. Okay. okay. This is like a cool. slim A-line. This is a L'Enfant Lace, too. Let's try it. Thank I you. will see you out on the floor. Perfect. Right. Thanks, see Randy. You. The engagement is definitely helping to bring up spirits. Some. It's a happy moment in the midst of it all. You're happy, Mommy? I am happy. This is the perfect thing to be doing. Sitting in New York buying a wedding dress for Danny. Y'all gonna make me cry and I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be a big girl here. Enjoy, celebrate. How are you feeling? It could be a contender. Contender. Okay, let's turn you around. So this is Henry Roth and it's 3300. How are we feeling? I don't like that dress at all. How do you feel about the corset? I like corset. We're, we're not feeling it. None of us are. We'll have a corset because I want to be sucked and tucked. I want to show off what I do have and enhance what I don't have. It's just not you at all. What about it isn't her? The lace. Like the lace. No, we don't okay. like the lace. Like nannies? Tablecloth. Nanny's yeah. Tablecloth? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's time to take it off. Okay. It actually looks exactly like the tablecloth. That does not work for my dream dress. Just two months after her father's passing, Danielle arrived to find a dress for her wedding that's only five months away. Are you feeling okay with the corset? Yep, it's up. <laughs> you feeling good enough to go out and show your family? It's actually pretty. Good. All right. All right. Let's go. Hi, guys. All right, Danielle. Tell me what you think. How do you feel? It's pretty. I like the silhouette. But you don't love it. I'm not in love, no. What do you think your father would think about this dress? I think that my father would hate the bottom of this dress. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he would like it. Yeah. There you go. This is by Dennis Basso. It's priced at $3,100. i am sucked and tucked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Mama? I don't think I like that. Bianca said no. Yeah, Bianca, we haven't heard oh, from you. I don't ass. like the bottom. She's not feeling it either. Everybody hates this dress. We like that dress right there. That oh, one, right? The sparkle. Yeah. Do you have something in her price range on that order? We'll go back to the stock yeah. and we'll look. Show me something else so you can make me jump. Here's the thing. We've got about 1,500 dresses in regular size, but we have about 50 to 100 plus size. Some of them are like 8,000 or whatever. So once you give us all these parameters, then it kind of narrows the selection down. All right, then we work on with you then. Striking out with yet another dress, Danielle heads back to the dressing room. Meanwhile, Allison puts Emily in a dress with a poofier bottom than the first. How are you feeling in this dress? I don't like how dropped it how is. How dropped it is. I okay, good. I like it's more up here a little bit. Do you want to show them or no? Yeah, we can show them. Give them a good idea of everything. How does this compare to the last dress? Um, well, I like the other one better. <laughs> OK, well, there you go. Let's see what they have to say. OK. OK. OK, so this is Panina as well, 7,800. Looks like underwear. Yes. OK. I don't like how you can see the boning. Yeah. Yes, I don't like that. And you lowered it down on the other hips, correct? Uh-huh. Y'all dropped it too much. We could raise this up a little bit. It would be an extra charge for any change. Easy now. I don't I don't make the prices. I'm just telling you the rules. Alicia, what do you think? I like how big it is. We like this skirt. I like the skirt. I like it. The bottom really looks good. We got to fix this top. Still like the first one would still be my the best. Still the top so far. But we've looked at a couple of dresses here, and I see that you're not where we need to be. Do what we need to do to make her happy. 
As Randy and Allison scramble to find a dress that Dad approves of and Emily loves, a bride arrives in fittings to see her custom-made dress for the first time. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Good. My name is Melissa Shriver, and our wedding is in two weeks. Having never seen the actual dress since it's a custom gown, I've been up all of nerves. Hopefully, it looks really good. You have an idea of what you're looking for? I like sparkly. OK. Dad, what do you see her in? I mean, I would like something a little more traditional. How do you feel? I like it, but I feel like there's just not enough bling. I'll raise the price point to 10000 Really? Yes. Woo! Hey! Yeah! She needs more bling. Nina Torney will literally customize any dress, so we're going to see if we can make her something special. How do you feel? I, I love it. Ah! I love it. It looks great. It's perfect. Melissa, are you saying yes to the dress? Yes! Yay! Yay! Is it exactly what you wanted? I think so. <laughs> Wedding planning with her, the whole thing is centered around this dress. It's what makes her the most happy, and so this has got to work out. 15 months. Has it been 15 months? Yeah. They had to create it out of nothing. So right, right. So you really it not. was two dresses put together. Mm -hmm. I hope it's what we imagined. I have no idea what this dress is going to look like. I have no idea if she's going to be happy with it. It's too late to change now. Well, but take a few minutes. I am nervous that it might not fit right proportion-wise. If it's not perfect, it's so close to the wedding, I don't know if they'll be able to fix it. While Emily loved the first dress, Dad didn't think it was grand enough. Yeah, I don't like it. But he loved the second skirt. We got to fix oh, no. this top. We're going to do something crazy. OK. You're going to wear two dresses at the same time. Never dove into a wedding dress. OK, we're going to flip. You love this dress. I do, I do. <laughs> I can't even like help it, you know? When Allison put the second dress on top of the first dress, it had just made it the perfect princess ball gown. We have one other person out there that we have to really please, right? We have the most important person. We cannot say yes to this dress unless he says yes first. OK. How do you feel? I love it. Ah! Those she are the words it. we've yes. been looking for. Let's see what okay. Papa Zilla thinks. Okay. We put two dresses together. This would be tulle, and this would drop down a little bit to here. So it would just lengthen just a little bit. He's building the dress. Yeah. Papa Zilla is hard to read. I'm going to have to pull out the big guns. Let's try a veil on. What do you guys think? Let's see it. Papa Zilla? Give me a moment. I'm still trying to get over the folds in the top of the dress. It's more like a dinner gown instead of a wedding dress. This would be out of this fabric, so it would be like that. I can't really tell if I like it yet. He doesn't like this dress, but if I cry about it, he'll probably, you know, like it. What do you think? Do you like it or do you love it? I love it. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Sweetheart, you look beautiful. My daughter is glowing. I could tell this is the dress. Emily, you look like a princess. Are you happy? I'm very happy. Because I can see it in her face now. She's happy. I'm glad you finally come through, Randy. You got the A team here. OK. <laughs> I'm in. He's in. You love it? I love it. Is Frank going to love it? Yes, Frank's going to love it. Emily, are you saying yes to the dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. Yes! Yay! <laughs> Having a one-of-a-kind dress, I feel like a true princess. I couldn't ask for anything better. Sweetie, that is beautiful. Thank you. I love, love you. you. Love you, too. Randy breathes a sigh of relief as Emily says yes to a custom $8,600 Panina Tournay ball gown. You had me nervous, but good job. <laughs> you had me nervous. <laughs> Meanwhile, down in fittings, with only two weeks until her big day, Melissa tries on her custom dress for the first time. Is it fitting well? Tight enough? It's good? Much better. It's fitted to my body perfectly. But my main concern for today is that Dad loves it as much as I do. 15 months we've been waiting. I have no idea what this dress is going to look like. Are we ready? Oh! Wow. Oh, it's fitted so oh well my gosh. in the waist. You look like you should be on top of a cake. How's the top feel? Good. Dad, was it worth raising the budget?
You were afraid it was going to be too much bling. Well, I wanted it to have some traditional component to it. Dad wasn't so keen on all the sparkle. Well, I'll need sunglasses. It's uh, so much bling. I'm just a big daddy's girl. If he doesn't end up liking how the dress comes together, then it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be what I want. Are you happy with it? Yes. Then it was worth raising the budget, yes. Yay. <laughs> what I like about this dress is it puts that beautiful smile on Melissa's face. If she's happy, I'm happy. She's been planning for this day since the day you were born. Yes, I have. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Melissa. It looks perfect. Daddy's little girl.